Is Legends League broken and if so, how would we fix it? Today we're going to go over all the problems with Legends League and in the background we'll have some insane attacks from Stars where he swags just about everything. In my opinion, Legends League is not in the healthiest state right now and in today's video we're going to go over all the problems with Legends League and maybe how to fix it and if that bores you, you can put the video on mute if you're not personally invested in Legends League and just watch these attacks from Stars. He swags so much including that lightning spell on the outside of the base. Oops, I don't think he meant to do that. It was meant to be an archer to tank for the multi mortar. So I'm going to try and just talk about the issues with Legends League but I think you can all understand if I do get a little bit sidetracked by these insane attacks because yeah what stars does with zap Lalu is quite ridiculous some of these attacks he swags so much I'm gonna give you a hint he's gonna swag at least three lava hounds with this attack you can already see the value the flame flinger will get so the first issue that we're going to talk about is the meta. The meta in Legends League is always an important thing because if it's just the same forever and ever, the game can get a little stale because each month is just the same as the last. And in my opinion, we've had the same meta for five months now. Now in January, Queen Charge Root Rider uh, was way more widely used than... Uh, Zap or Spam Root Rider, so I'm not going to include that, but now February, March, April, May, and June, five months, the meta's been the same. In fact, it's getting worse and worse every month, and we've got some graphics here for you from COC Legends League Twitter account. I'll link them down in the description below. Um, I won't have the graphics up for too long, because obviously you guys want to see the attack in the background, but here is the stats for the March season. So, this is the, the strategies used by the top 200 players in the world, and you see the percentages for each. So 31% for Smash Root Rider, 18% Queen Charge Root Rider, 14% Zap Root Rider. So what? That gets up to 63%. So 126 of the top 200 players were using Root Rider dominant attack strategies. Now if we go to April, 70% Smash Root Rider, 8.5% Zap Root Rider, 6% Queen Charge Root Rider. So that's 169 of the top 200 players are using Root Rider dominant strategies. And then if we go to May, 71% uh, Smash Root Rider, 7% Zap Root Rider, 7% Queen Charge Root Rider. So what? That's now up to 85%. Also, Lalo's coming in now. So anyway, 85%. So that's 170 of the top 200 players. Quite ridiculous. And uh, yeah. You can see Stars has completely wrecked this base. But back to the point, I don't have the stats for the June season yet. I believe they will post it in the next couple of days. But you guys can already see the problem. It's a Root Rider dominant meta. As uh, Stars shows that you don't just need Root Riders to dominate. A complete loon parade here. I mean, look at this. Completely and utterly crushed. Nicely done from Stars. Let's talk more about the meta in the next attack. Now quickly before I show you some of the strategy usage rates from Town Hall 14 and Town Hall 15 to give you a perspective on how undiverse the meta is at the moment. I want to show you this Flame Flinger and also the Zap. So you saw the Zaps on the top side. Now Stars could have got the Rage Tower with the Ricochet Cannon and the Scatter Shot and that's technically more value than going after the Multi Inferno and the Sweeper. But we're going to be able to use our King to get rid of these two buildings here. By the way, look at this. Deals with the defensive king with just a couple of headhunters and archers, which means the flame flinger is now safe to get the eagle and the multi inferno. But as I was saying before, we would never be able to sue the king if he's in the core of the base where that multi inferno was. It's too many wall breaks, but pretty easy to get him to come in and get the scatter shot like this. Now, quickly before the sui gets a bit too fun, have a look at this. So this is the Legends League November Season 2023 strategies used. And look at how equal it is across the board. There's five attack strategies with over 12%. And they're not like the same sort of thing. It's not like five different air spams. There was a Queen Charge Twin Hogs, a Super Archer Blimp Attack, Super Bowlers, E-Dragon Super Dragons, even Zap Titans is number six at eight and a half percent. That is what I mean by a diverse meta. There is a bit of everything. There is a bit of everything there for anyone, and a lot of attack strategies are going to be usable. Now, some of you might argue, as we see stars starting the Lala here, some of you might argue that this is a symptom of having a harder meta, that you'll see a wider variety of attack strategies. But I don't think that's necessarily true, because I'll show you in a second once the Lalo dies down a bit here. I'll show you in a second the usage rates at the at Town Hall 14, so two years ago, 
um, just before Town Hall 15 came out. And you can see, you can see that it was a widely balanced uh, or diverse meta, despite the fact that Town Hall 14 was quite easy. Not as easy as Town Hall 16, but still easy nonetheless. Now, if this attack is looking like it's not an overkill to you, have a look at what stars are swagged. A little bit of Lalo, some spells, and the entire Royal Champion. Now, whilst this is going on, let's show it right now. So, September season 2022, the last Town Hall 14 pushing season. And yes, there isn't as many attack strategies, but you still got, what, five strategies above 11%. And five completely different attack strategies. Two Queen Charges, a Ground Smash, a Blizzard, and a Hydra. That is a diverse meta, and that's what we're missing at the moment. I don't care if the meta is easy. I don't care if it's hard. I would prefer it to be somewhere in between. But I don't care the hit rate of the meta as much. Maybe not as easy as it is now. But I don't mind what it is. Just give us a diverse array of attack strategies that can be used so we're not all just defending one attack strategy, right? Quickly, before we get back into the serious talking points, I want you to have a look at, at the zaps here. So, Stars does weaken the Eagle. In terms of the zaps, do hit the Eagle, but he doesn't use his seventh lightning spell to finish off the Eagle. Why is that? Well, he's going to sui into the Eagle anyway. The Eagle's not going to activate because he's not going to deploy enough troops. So, why b bother putting down the seventh lightning spell if you're going to take it down anyway, right? Just save it. You can use it on skeleton traps. You could use it on a single inferno. You can use it on monolith. You name it. Use it on anything else because, yeah, there is no need for that seventh zap to take it down. And it actually helps him because it's going to help funnel his king and queen into the core. Now, we've already talked about how undiverse the uh, meta is in Legends League at the moment. It's essentially just one troop for 85% of the players. Let's talk about the hit rate in Legends League because... It's too high. It's a little bit too high. So I'm going to show you a graphic right now. It's going to be a little confusing. Uh, I'll try and explain it. But Yo-Yo last season, across all these accounts he pushed with, tracked the number of trophies he got every single day. And if you have a look at the account on the far left, he failed three attacks all season. Yes, out of the 224 attacks, he failed three. So that's, what, 98 point. 7% hit rate just off the top of my head, something like that. That is ridiculously high, but even worse, he only finished at 6,051 trophies. Yes, he only finished at 6,051. So that was only good enough for, I think, 174th in the world, despite failing three attacks all season. Yes, I agree. Defense should be important in Legends League as well, but failing three attacks all season and not even getting a top 150 finish, that's ridiculous. It's, so it's just clearly not about offense anymore. A lot of the players at the top of Legends are probably having similar sort of seasons. By the way, another great Loon and Royal Champion parade here from Stars. Clearly not about defense at all. It's just a little too difficult to defend in this meta currently. This attack here is going to be Stars doing an excellent recovery, so you can enjoy this. But I got a few more topics to talk about that we'll get to right now. So, talked about not a diverse meta, and the hit rate is extremely high. Now, if the hit rate is extremely high, it's not the end of the world, right? Uh, we saw it at Town Hall 14. It was high, but you could still differentiate yourself with defenses. Uh, it was possible, although really difficult to defend. Obviously, Town Hall 16, much more difficult. But what I don't like about the Legends League matchmaking system at the moment is defenses, who you get hit by, is incredibly random. So in the May season, I pushed. I got a top 400 finish. Not my best, but happy enough with it. But I found that my... The days in Legends League when I gained a lot of trophies were when people who were 300 cups below me were able to attack me, which just shouldn't be possible. So, for instance, I got a little bit stuck at 5,800 like a lot of people do. Um, so, I was stuck there a few days. I was getting, you know, plus 310, plus 320, minus 310 sort of thing. Then one day, I got hit by two people in the 5500s. In fact, I think one of them reset at 5480. I had a look at the end of the day after they attacked me. Like, and they got a one star and a plus 22. So, that obviously, I'm very happy for myself because I'm going to be pushing up a fair bit that day. But it's not really fair to the people at 5800 who I'm competing with, right? 
Like, uh, they're, de they're defending people from 5800, but the reason I get to move up isn't because I'm tripling bases or isn't because I'm defending people from the 5800s. It's because the people who are able to attack me from the Legends League matchmaking system are nowhere near my trophy level. By the way, this Queen's just gone completely ballistic on stars. Feel bad for him there. But yeah, I did nothing to deserve it. If I got hit by people in the 5800 and they one-starred me, then I would have deserved it a whole lot more. Because at least I'm defending people that I'm directly competing with. I'm not competing with these guys from the 5800s. I have a look. None of them had ever finished anywhere near the top 10k as well. And obviously no shame to them. Sucks for them too. They're hitting bases that are 300 cups above them. So it, the big loser here is the whole Legends League system. And the only winner in that scenario is me. So I don't like that. That's what defendings come down to. Because a one star is huge. It's huge. So I went like minus 260 that day. So a plus 60 because I got a perfect day. Whereas all the people around me are stuck going plus 10, plus 20. Not really a fair competitive advantage, is it? So I think if we're going to have this really high hit rate meta, Supercell need to fix the defensive system. Uh, they need to make sure you're constantly matching people that are within, you know, 100 trophies of you. Because of how high hit rate it is, there are a lot of people in a very small trophy range. So it is definitely possible to match me with them. But clearly, the system isn't perfect and I'd love to see it refined. And lastly, I want to talk about the introduction of hard mode. So for those who don't know, hard mode was introduced in the last update. It's a mode in friendly challenges and friendly wars currently where you make the game slightly more harder. So it's a bit more satisfying when you triple. Now, I know a lot of you currently don't think it's hard enough. Supercell have said though, they're open to making it more difficult. They just need some feedback. So make sure you keep the feedback coming. Keep it constructive though. Nothing, uh, <laughs> nothing just too flat out rude. Supercell have also said with the hard mode that it will be used at the World Finals later this year. And I have a feeling it might even be used at the monthly qualifiers at some point this year too. And this opens a whole other thing because for the pros who qualify for the World Championship, Legends League will become bad practice. It will because all the interactions will be completely different on uh, normal mode versus hard mode. So there might be no incentive for all the pros at the World Championship. And if it's introduced in the monthly qualifiers, the players who play in that, which is like thousands of teams, to play in Legends League. And I think this is a problem. I think this is a problem because you could see a lot of people drop out of Legends League at this point because there's just no point. It will hurt their ability to attack. They're better off going into friendly challenges and friendly wars, right? So I'd be interested to hear from the pros if they'd still play Legends League if it is bad practice. The obvious solution, bring hard mode in Legends League. Now, yes, I know there's a lot of casuals in Legends League. So I want to hear your uh, your opinions. If you're a casual, let us know down below. Would you be okay with the hard, the hard mode coming to all of Legends League? Should Legends League get split into two? Uh, hard mode and easy mode. But I think it should be pulled in. And I think having hard mode in Legends League will solve a lot of the problems. Now, I don't think it should be in normal wars or clan war leagues at this point. Because those are less competitive. Yes, you're technically competing. By the way, six swag stars. But they're less competitive, whereas Legends League, it's it's called Legends League. It's for the best of the best. You get to the top league and you get to uh, play around and see how high you can push. So let me know down in the comments below. Would you be for seeing pro mode in Legends League? Why or why not? I think if you bring pro mode in Legends League, though, that will fix the meta. I don't think Root Riders will be used as much because Root Riders is all about the heroes and hard modes all about nerfing the heroes. The hit rate will definitely drop. Uh, and then defense randomness, obviously that wouldn't be fixed. But if everyone's struggling to triple more, there's less gained by getting hit by someone 300 cups below you and uh it would ensure that the pros keep playing legends league and the player base stays healthy there but that's it for this video let me know if there's anything i missed over what you agree with disagree with let's have a really positive discourse in the discussion section below